What does a reverse auction look like? Well, we're going to do this with a simulation with four suppliers. And for this auction, there are going to be two winners, position one and two, because they're competing for a contract. And maybe the first will get 60% of the contract and the second 40% of that contract. Now, to be able to judge if we're comparing apples with apples, before the auction, we're going to ask them to respond to a tender and give us all sorts of details so we can select them. We also get initial prices, which is quite important for the strategy of this auction later on. Look at the price between blue and red. That's 20% difference between the winning uh, position and the second one. If we show 40,000 to everybody, they might just walk away and stop. They might be demotivated. So it's not the best strategy to have an auction where they see the leading price in this case. We're going to hide this price. Nobody's going to see it. But what they're going to see, they're going to see their rank. They're going to see your fourth or your thir third, etc. Now, this is the dynamic. Suppliers are not going to place bids in an accelerated mode, but they search where are each other's rank. In here, I believe red is about to have a bad time. Yep, they moved up. And in this case, imagine that the first two, they've been on this market for seven years, no change, no competition, and they thought, oh, an auction, there is nothing there, I don't need to bid, there's nobody else. So red is having a very, very bad time. He places a new bid, but he was not prepared for this, and he's going to be quickly again pushed out. He's even going to log out of the system and think, oh, this is unacceptable and be very, uh, you know, outraged. But that's the nature of an auction. There is new DNA on this market and the two new suppliers, Young Committee Dynamics, are actually bringing the price down. And it could stop here. I'll say could, we're going to have another example. But if it did stop here, that means that we have 18% savings on position number two and no change on position number one. That's still a very successful auction because look at the difference in price between the first two. It's very small. That means that we've achieved the market price. The suppliers have given us really the, the price and the value of that market. Now, um, you also saw that red got pushed out, so maybe they were actually uh, taking a little bit too much advantage of you. And you also see that brown, this company, new company, is also very competitive. Lots of very valuable insights. But let's go down to blue. Let's imagine the auction actually didn't stop. Blue, same situation on this market for seven years. Easy peasy, nothing's going to happen. It's been an hour now and uh, I'm still first. And then two bids come and bang, he's third, whoa. Now again, panic at the blue level, he's realizing there is so many suppliers on this. He didn't really prepare his commercial offers. He places a bid, but it's not competitive enough. He's already uh, left out at the third position. And basically he's gonna lose this auction. He's gonna lose this market. And with the last bid coming up of green here, we have an auction that stops with a savings of four and a half percent at position one, 20% at position two. It's very successful. And it's a typical result of an auction where you went on a market, you've never done an auction before. You're bringing transparency to the pricing structure in the system, in the, in the competition, and the suppliers are deciding by themselves who's going to win this market. Very valuable. And some companies might be a little bit uh, nervous about having completely two new suppliers. One thing that is important, you should always commit to an auction. You say an auction, you respect, your, your word needs to stand and you need to give the market to the winners. But if something goes wrong in six months and Brown is not really able to you know, deliver what he's promised, you can always go back to blue and look at the prices. They're very close to each other. So transparency, getting the market price and a very good amount of insights into a market. This is what a reverse auction can bring you.